Hello visual effects people, I'm AK and this is Fluid Ninja Live use case package number 6 large water bodies. Quickly recapping what we have been talking about in use case number 4 we have two simulations running parallel one that is uh, generating a tile pattern and we are using this pattern to map uh, infinite surfaces and the second simulation is attached to the palm and it is handling local interactions and so uh, we have a water material and that material is combining these two simulation outputs now uh, this package has been released as a 10 megabytes zip file and a new level file is appearing in the use cases the levels folder use case number six and if you load the level we could go for a walk well walk or <laughs> using a vehicle well why not going for a slide so this is a large water body and this water body is made of various uh, panels elements because the whole thing is mapped the fluid simulation is mapped in word space the position rotation and scaling of these elements doesn't really matter so as you could see we have a large cone-like shape here and we have surrounded it with uh, these flat panels so you could customize your level and using this word space texture you could really uh, define uh, th the shape and the materials how you would like to uh, place these uh, rivers and seas and lakes on your levels now changing to other pawn just for a change I have added a, a comfy feature uh, you could almost like teleport uh, quickly move on the level to reach certain places um, so this is again a distorted geometry a conical shape and um, the point is that in this case we are not using a simulation container that is attached to the palm but the two simulation that is feeding the water material are the following uh, we have the tile generation and here we have a local solver the local solver is generating a special turbulent vortex slide fluid simulation for this area so uh, again repeating just getting there quickly um, in this case I'm not using the pawn attached simulation container but one container that is placed here and is location specific and that container is generating this turbulent pattern around the vortex and the other one and I'm just going there is this tile generator which is uh, creating a generic pattern or base for the whole simulation just to have an idea, so this is how the, the vortex scene looks like without a dedicated simulation delivering these uh, turbulent vortex thing. And in this case, uh, we are using the pawn attached simulation container. What is the advantage? Well, uh, I could walk around the whole area and still leaving trails, having a kind of interaction while at the other place we have a simulation area which looks uh, more refined and detailed because we have a dedicated simulation running here and this dedicated simulation is also handling uh, interactions so when I approach with the pawn or draw with my mouse cursor or push push things uh, the interaction is there but it's a local interaction which means if I'm getting further away from this vortex um, at some point this interaction ceases because otherwise we would need like three <laughs> simulations and, com and the composite of these three simulations and it's possible but I didn't want it to make that it's just a demonstration of how simulations could be combined okay let's go for another walk and this time um, we are going to use the vehicle and check the river scene well two kind of rivers one that is flowing uh, on a straight line and in this case 
it's very easy to use again a word space styling texture because the whole thing is one directional unidirectional now what happens if I uh, if I'm um, setting my river if I would like to set my river on a curved mesh well this might be a good example for that as you could see um, the flow is following the river bank and since the river bank is curving the flow is going that way as well and you can't do that with a word space texture so in this case and I'm opening up the material instance which the river bank is using by going to the word outliner and water surfaces and half circle and so this is the material instance we have and you will find this option group called tiling and here um, tiling in word space is switched off so um, you're not going to see the material instance panel but I'm setting it to a high higher value so it's <laughs> it's very obvious that we have a tiled texture here and that's uh, that the tiled texture is is following the UV of this object but the point is if I map it correctly it looks fine and it's following this curvature in case if I switch it to a uh, word space texture just a second and I need to set the tiling as well accordingly well I could have nice results but and I'm going there but um, in this case well I switched on uh, the word space thing it is similar to the C which means uh, the water is not at all following the curvature of the river bank so for some it might seem like a minor difference but in my opinion it's a it's a big difference and it is important to have water bodies that uh, could follow certain shapes yeah um, getting back to the pawn going for another walk I'm using the letter X to teleport the pound and <laughs> to <laughs> to fasten this process of uh, walking long distances because this level is huge and um, yeah you might need to use this um, teleportation feature to take these large distances so I'm going downstream uh, pushing these guys a little playing with these blocks yeah. so shortly that's it large water bodies different shapes tiling and the tricky way is how to use different simulations by the new water material ah i would like to mention and it is important if you visit the content folder of this package 6 um, and the belonging base material we have a new base material which is uh, way more advanced compared to version 4 so the new material is version 5 and uh, it has new features like this word space uh, usage which is independent from mesh rotation and scaling and stuff because um, in use case number 4 this feature was not present so shortly that's it thank you for your patience and see you next time